Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Dev and the Beta channel, which is the build 22616. This is the latest build that Microsoft released, and this build is a smaller one, which we're gonna talk about in this video. And you're gonna see that this build is somehow very likely to be one of the last builds that completes the Windows 11 22H2 version. And as you can see in this build, we also don't have the watermark yet again, but Microsoft of course promised that the watermark will come again in the near future before talking about anything please don't forget to leave a like down below if you enjoy videos that we do about windows 11 insider preview builds and of course make sure to subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one let's continue with the video first of all microsoft is reminding us that this window for switching from dev to the beta channel is closing soon so if you want to switch from the dev to the beta channel now is the time to do it because that is closing soon as you all know the beta channel will soon turn into the release preview channel and the release preview channel will come to the main release and the dev channel will go on further to preview the next version or the next update of windows 11 a quick recap if you don't know how to switch from the dev to the beta channel all you need to do is to go into the settings app then go into windows updates then windows insider program click on choose your insider settings and then select the beta channel and you will be switched after the restart and as easy as that. A few changes in this build regarding the taskbar as a result of feedback from Windows Insiders, Microsoft decided to disable the changes to the system tray introduced in the build 22,581. The system tray and especially the show hidden items flyout will now function the same way it did with the original release of Windows 11 including the ability to rearrange icons in the flyout. I'm not really sure why Microsoft decided to do this because I actually liked the update. Of course, let me know your opinion in the comments down below. Regarding other changes, Microsoft is stating that Windows Insiders on Windows 11 Pro Edition will now require MSA and internet connectivity during the initial device setup OB only when setting up for personal use. If you choose to set up device for work or school, there is no change and it will work the same way as before. So regarding this, let me know down below in the comments if you want me to make a video in which I show you how to install Windows 11 Pro Edition without internet connectivity, of course, using the settings for personal use without a Microsoft account. As I've said, this is a smaller build, so those are all the changes that we have in this build, but we also have a few fixes. So for example, Microsoft fixed an issue where performance and reliability of Explorer.exe could degrade over time, eventually resulting in a bug check in the recent Insider preview build, so that is good. They also fixed the issue causing the show hidden icons flyout in the system tray to disappear completely from some insiders regarding the taskbar, of course, even though it shows as on under settings, personalization, taskbar, and then other system tray icons. Regarding widgets, Microsoft fixed an issue where if you try to open the widgets board using a gesture from the side of the screen, you would see the widgets board open and then immediately close. This is of course for devices with touch screen and they fixed an issue where users were unable to use the swipe functionality to reliably invoke widgets. Regarding the settings app, Microsoft fixed an issue that could cause quick settings to crash when projecting to certain wireless devices. Regarding windowing, Microsoft addressed an issue where using the three finger on screen touch gesture for minimizing could cause animations to stop working across the system. They also fixed an issue impacting DWM reliability in recent flights and also an issue which was causing some apps like settings to open blank if they were reopened after an upgrade or reboot. Regarding the task manager, Microsoft fixed an issue that was causing the process list to fluctuate between apps and background groups when clicking on efficiency mode from the command bar. They also have some fixes regarding Windows Sandbox and Windows Update, but of course you can check those out in the article down below in the description. And also in the article, you're going to be able to see some of the known issues that you can encounter in this build 22616. This is the build for today, basically. This is a smaller build, as I've said, but this is good news because we are closing into the official release of the 22H2 version, so we are looking forward to that. And of course, I think all of us are looking forward to that, to see that version on the main release. If you enjoyed this video, of course, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.